I've been thinking about it, and one of my best friends at Baylor is from Colorado Springs, and I'm pretty sure she was a nursing student. And one of my favorite people in all of college um, is a nurse, and she lives in Denver, I think. And um, I'm nervous for all the nurses. And I've been thinking about what we need to do. And um, I think we need to isolate our hospitals. I think we need two different hospitals. We need to have a government government issued order. Urgent care facilities will be for ventilator and any sort of respiratory type issues. And regular hospitals will no longer accept anybody with flu or respiratory issues whatsoever. And then we can isolate the health issues because I want my friends to be able to go to work and not to be such high risk, um, be at such high risk of contracting the coronavirus. And like, dude, seriously, I really don't think you understand how incredible a lot of these people are who are nurses. Because think, think about what it takes to be a nurse. I'm going to get a job wiping people's asses because I want to help people that are sick. I, I'm going to get a job um, like being a servant because I want to help people that are suffering. And that's the type of people that try to be nurses. And that's why we should um, be the type of people that protect nurses. And I think nurses that go to work should know what they're getting into. So, and it's the same thing with doctors and PAs and, and everyone. But what, I, what I'm trying to say is, um, if you're working at a coronavirus facility, then you can behave differently than if you're working at a regular hospital and regular hospitals already assume that people are going to be sick. And that's why nurses have certain behaviors there. Um, and they can up those behaviors, especially during the coronavirus outbreak. But what I'm saying is it would be better if we specifically decided, um, all or, or, or X amount of urgent faci care facilities are going to be hospitals that are strictly for lung and flu type problems.